Hey guys, I hope everything is well. So in this unusual video for this channel, I wanted to give you a quick review of the new MacBook Air. I just bought this uh, a few days ago. And what I did is I brought in my old 2016 MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro from 2016. And Apple gave me pretty good credit. I was really surprised how much they gave me. Paid for a lot of this. So I bought this Air. This is their new entry level computer based on the M1 technology. So here you go. Um, this is a game changer computer. Why do I say the M1 is a game changer computer? In all of my computer life, if you will, going back to the 90s, there's always been a compromise between form factor and power. Basically, if you wanted a power, you had to get a larger machine. Over the years, they diminish, they get smaller and smaller and smaller, while you get more and more power. But still, right up until the M1 chip technology came out from Apple, there's always a compromise. With this computer now, which is fanless, this MacBook Air, uh, there's no more compromise. I am able now to render and manipulate 4K video from my cinema camera, which I'm using right now to film, like this. In fact, this M1 Air, this tiny little computer, if you can see how small it is, this tiny little computer is more powerful than my 2019 iMac, which is a pretty powerful Intel-based system. Again, because it's fanless, it's super thin, uh, it runs super cool, I'm doing 4K streams live, no hiccups, no problems. Battery life on this is incredible. So with the M1 technology, and you see this expressed in the air, you can do just about anything you could possibly want to do in terms of computing. And you got a tiny little form factor and the cost is reasonable as well. This video is sponsored by Serve. Serve is a content delivery network for images. It basically allows you to super quickly load images in your websites. They have an array of servers all over the world. So the way it works, you upload your images to their servers and then you just link to those uploaded images and you're gonna see how much more quickly the images will load in your sites. But it does a lot more than that. When you upload an image to serve, they will create different versions of that image which are optimized for different settings. So you can just use a URL to change the settings and load different images. So this is all done by serve tools and it's pretty cool stuff. So it could take away the need in many respects of having to create different images for yourself that are commonly used. So I can imagine in an e-commerce situation where you're selling artwork or products, you just upload your products shots to serve and they take care of everything else for you. Service used by huge brands like uh, Hudson Bay Co., USDA, Timberland, D-Link. So let me read some of the major benefits. Faster image loading, on-the-fly image optimizations, resizing, and format conversion. We call it the optimal format. All images are served from our own CDN. So they have servers all over the world, as I mentioned. Super fast loading. I was pretty impressed with that. URL API. Resize, crop, add watermarks, text, tweak hue, saturation, much more, 90 plus options, just by changing the image URL. Your master image is left untouched. Transformations are unlimited. So basically you upload your master image to serve and serve will make all these different variations and you can link to them just by cut, cutting and pasting a URL. Digital asset management, sleek and fast UI for managing assets, the assets being your images, user access control, folder sharing, tagging, 360 spins, our first class citizens on our platform. Check it out. So I'll show you one of our 360 spins. Here's the shoe. And look how quickly that works. Boom, boom, boom. Pretty cool. They provide that functionality for you so you don't have to do it yourself. It's almost instant. So very good tool. I highly recommend Check out Serve. As you know, I don't recommend products or services unless I approve of them myself. So take it, check out Serve, link below. So having used this computer for the last few days, 
I can tell you that I don't know if I'd ever go back to a larger computer than this size here. If I wanted a larger screen, I would just connect an external display. But in terms of traveling, mobility, just ease of use, it's pretty bloody incredible. Because I do 4K video editing, I got the souped up version, if you will. So I got the 16 gig of RAM, I, and I got the larger hard disk. I didn't get the full size, I got the terabyte. But I think that most, not most, all programmers will be able to use this MacBook Air M1 and be able to do anything they want to do at incredible speeds, and you can just get the entry-level computer. One thing that PC people should be aware when it comes to Apple-based computers is that there's a very high resale value to them, unlike just about any type of PC, if not all PCs. So you can get money back. So you can't look at the premium price tag you're going to get, you're going to pay initially for an, an Apple computer without considering the fact that you can resell it two, three, four, five years later with relative ease. Again, I just walked into Apple with my MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro from 2016. I'm recording this in 2021. And boom, I got about 25% of what I paid for in terms of those devices, give or take a few percentage. This is incredibly convenient, and that means you can deduct 20% or so off the price of what you pay for your devices new, assuming that they keep doing that, which I imagine they will. Now, here's the thing. With the M1 chips, it's a totally total game changer in terms of performance and speed and convenience. It's pretty powerful stuff. So because we see that these computers have reached a plateau in terms of their technology, a level that I don't think they're going to need to, for most people anyway, I don't think they're going to need to really go too much beyond that. I believe that this computer in two, three, four, five years will still hold a certain amount of value because I just don't think that the needs of computing will require much more powerful than this M1 chip technology. Yes, there will be much more powerful chips will come out in, in between now and then, but what are you gonna do with it, right? What are you gonna do with it? I'm already editing 4K video without even a hiccup, and apparently you can edit 8K video with this processor without too much difficulty. Although I'm not sure about that, I haven't done it myself, but that's what I'm hearing. So there you go. Every once in a while in the technology industry, you see uh, something that is groundbreaking that changes the game. iPhone was one of them. Now we got the M1 chip. I've said in previous videos that the best computer I ever used was the second generation MacBook Air. Once again, with this MacBook Air M1, this is now the best computer I ever used. Uh, it doesn't have the, as good a speakers as the Pro. Uh, doesn't have as many ports, etc. I believe for maybe 95% of users, this computer will probably be a computer you could buy and hold on for four, five, six, seven years, and it will still be highly performant. 